good morning students today in this video we will study the making of national movement in between 1970s and 1947 i'm trying to make the video with the help of the smart board so that the topic will be clear to you so let's start the emergence of nationalism the knowledge of being indian and that its resources and systems were meant for indians marked a trace in nature and role of british in india the political associations came into being in the 1870s and 1880s pune sarvajanik sabha and many such associations functioned in specific parts of country and their goals were stated as the goals of all the people of india in 1878 the arms act was passed disallowing indians from possessing arms the vernacular act was also passed in 1878 which allowed the government to seize the assets of newspapers including their printing presses if the newspapers published anything objectionable in 1883 lord ripon's law member sir curtney ilbert introduced a bill called ilbert bill the bill provided the trial of british and european persons by indians and provided equality between british and indian judges in the country the bill caused widespread agitation among the whites who strongly opposed the bill and forced the government to withdraw it the indian national congress was established in 1885 It included 72 delegates from different parts of the country which included leaders like Dada Bhai Naoroji W C Bonaji Surendranath Banerjee Ramesh Chandra Dutt S Subramanian Iyer Feroz Shah Mehta and Baharuddin Tyagji a nation in the making in the first 20 years congress was moderate in its aims and methods the congress demanded a greater voice for indians in the government and in administration it also demanded the separation of judiciary from the executive the repeal of arms act and freedom of speech and expression a number of economic issues were also raised by congress they regarded british rule as the main reason of poverty and famines in india the moderate leaders wanted to highlight the unjust nature of british rule so articles were written newspapers were published in order to spread awareness among the indians freedom is our birthright Bipin Chandra Pal, Bal Gangadhar Tilak, and Lala Lajpat Rai, popularly known as Lal Bal Pal in Bengal, Maharashtra, and Punjab, they strongly criticized the policies of the colonial government. They demanded Swaraj. Tilak declared, "Freedom is my birthright, and I shall have it." In 1905, Viceroy Curzon announced the partition of the biggest province of British India, Bengal, which included Bihar and parts of Orissa. The partition of Bengal aggravated people all over India. Both the moderates and the radicals protested against the partition. Large public meetings and demonstrations were organized. and this led to the birth of swadeshi movement in india the growth of mass nationalism the struggle against britain rule became a mass movement after 1919 it involved peasants tribes students and women in large numbers the first world war broke out in 1914 and altered the economic and political situation in india india was dragged into the war and th-
this led to a huge rise in defense expenditure of the government of India. The war led the British to expand their army. The government forced the people from villages in India to send their soldiers for an alien cause. The advent of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was born on 2nd October 1869 at Porbandar in Gujarat. He studied law in England and went to South Africa to practice law and stayed there for 20 years. In South Africa, Gandhiji struggled for the Indians in non-violent marches against racist restrictions and had earned great respect and popularity both at national and international level. Mahatma Gandhi spent his initial years in India traveling throughout the country, understanding the people, their needs and the overall situation. Gandhiji launched local movements in Champaran, Kheda and Ahmedabad in which he received success. The Rolad Satyagraha In 1919, the government passed the Rolad Act and empowered the provincial government to search any place and arrest any person whom it suspected without a warrant. Gandhiji launched a Satyagraha against the Rolad Act. Mahatma Gandhi and Muhammad Ali Jinnah criticized the act as devilish and tyrannical. In April 1919, a nationwide strike was launched and the government used brutal measures to suppress them. The Jallianwala Bagh massacre forced by General Dyer in Amritsar on Baisakhi Day was a part of this repression. Khilafat agitation and the non-cooperation movement. In 1920, a strict treaty was imposed on the Turkish Sultan or Khalifa by the British Empire and the Sultan was deprived of his political powers and authority. The Khalifat movement was launched by Muhammad Ali and Shogat Ali who wished to initiate it a full-fledged non-cooperation movement against the British under the leadership of Gandhiji and demanded Swaraj. In 1921-22, the non-cooperation movement gained momentum. Thousands of students left government-controlled schools and colleges. Many lawyers such as Motilal Nehru, C. R. Das, C. Rajagopalachari and Asaf Ali gave up their practices. Titles given by British were surrendered and legislatures were boycotted. People lit public bonfires for burning foreign cloth. People's Initiatives and Mahatma People's Initiatives Non-violent campaign was organized in Kheda, Gujarat by Patidar peasants against the high revenue demand of the British. In Bengal, the Khilafat Non-Cooperation Alliance gave enormous communal unity and strength to the national movement. In Punjab, the Akali agitation of the Sikhs pursued to remove corrupt Mahans supported by the British from their Gurudwaras. In Andhra Pradesh, forest satyagraha was practiced by the poor peasants and tribals by sending cattle into forests for grazing without paying the fees. The People's Mahatma Gandhiji was regarded as a Masiha by the people. He was someone who could help them overcome their misery and poverty. Gandhiji wanted to build a united class of people he was against inter-class conflicts. The happenings of 1922 to 1929. In February 1922, a crowd of peasants set fire to a police station in Chori Chora, because of which Gandhiji called off the non-cooperation movement. Chitranjan Das and Modilal Nehru argued that the party should continue 
contest elections to the councils. In order to influence government policies, they needed to be a part of the council. Civil disobedience movement was launched in 1930 under the leadership of Gandhiji. The formation of the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh, RSS, and the Communist Party of India were the two important developments of the mid-1920s. The Congress resolved to fight in 1929 under the presidentship of Jawaharlal Nehru and 26 January 1930 was observed as Independence Day all over the country. The March to Dandi In 1930, Gandhiji started the march to break the salt law. According to this law, the state had the authority on the manufacture and sale of salt. Gandhiji and his followers marched from Sabarmati to the coastal town of Dandi where they gathered natural salt found on the seashore and boiled seawater to produce salt. The combined struggles of the Indian people proved to be fruitful when the Government of India Act of 1935 prescribed provincial autonomy. In 1937, the government announced election to the provincial legislature. The Second World War broke out in September 1939. The Congress leaders were ready to support the British. They demanded the independence of India after the war. The British refused to fulfill this demand as a result of which Congress ministers resigned in protest. Quit India Movement and later In the middle of the Second World War, Mahatma Gandhi decided to start a new phase of movement against the British, which was called Quit India Movement. The first response of the British was a big suppression. Towards the end of 1943, over 90,000 people were arrested and around 1,000 killed in police firing. Towards independence and partition. In 1940, the Muslim League demanded independent states for Muslims in the northwestern and eastern areas of the country. The provincial elections of 1937 convinced the League that Muslims were a minority and they would play second fiddle in any democratic structure. The rejection of Congress for its demands to form a joint Congress League government in the United Provinces in 1937 also annoyed the League. In 1945, after the end of the war, the negotiations initiated between the Congress, the League and the British for the independence of India. The conversation failed because the League proposed the demand for Pakistan. The British cabinet sent a three-member mission to Delhi to examine this demand in March 1946. 16 August 1946 was declared as the direct action day by the League. On 3 June 1947, the partition plan was announced and Pakistan came into existence. The joy of our country's independence from British rule came mixed with the pain and violence of partition. 